Welcome to Planet Ocean 101. My name is Lexi. And I'm Riley. And this is where you get all the ocean action. Today's action will include a first-hand look on a chef's mission to protect the ocean, recent news on whale migrations, and a quick ocean forecast. Before today's ocean news, a quick word from one of our supporters. Come on down to Seafood Bob's, and remember, one fish, one chip, one dollar. And don't forget, skip the straw. On a recent P-Town Whale Watch, naturalists saw a ton of humpback whales migrating back to the Bahamas. We will miss them while they're gone. Whales are so cool. Did you know that humpback whales are filter feeders? No, what's a filter feeder? A filter feeder is a type of animal that has to sift through the water to get all of its food. It uses something called baleen to do that, and sometimes microplastic can get stuck in it instead of food. That's tragic. Let's check in with our weatherman Thomas to see what their forecast will be as they head down south. Okay, thanks Riley. On Monday, there's a high chance of microplastics the whales have to swim through. On Tuesday, there will be rising waters. The whales sh should watch out and not crash into buildings. On Wednesday, there will be scattered erosion and debris that whales will have to swim through and not get sick. On Thursday, it will be very hot and the whales will have to take off some blubber. On Friday, there's a fish strike in a in a blocked highway for the whales. Back to you, Riley. <laughs> wow, what a forecast for the whales and us. I hope someone is doing something about all these problems. Let's check out James live on the field and see if he has any more hopeful news. Okay. Hi, this is James here reporting live with Chef Bob from uh, Bo Seafood Bob's restaurant. So Bob, how do you think pollution and this week's weather um, affect your restaurant? Um, it, it affects it a lot. Um, when I go to fillet a fish, inside there's plastics, which can be harmful to the customer, and it can make my business go down in sales and the customers that are coming to the restaurant. What about the weather? Oh, I got to get the pumps out. There's a storm coming up soon. Yeah. Um, any ideas for a pollution solution? Of course, we will use biodegradable takeout uh, like boxes, and we will skip the straw at Bob's. Also, we uh, spread awareness by making posters like this one. Ah, that's cool. I hope these ideas will spread to other restaurants so they can do the same thing. Uh, do you have any uh, secret recipes that you want to share with us? I can't give away too much secrets, but um, one secret I will give away for... Um, my food, I only use sustainable um, local products and um, always fresh to make the food taste very good. And yeah, so um, thanks for having me on your uh, news show. And uh, don't forget to skip the straw. Yeah, uh, thanks, Bob. I'm definitely going to go to your restaurant more often <laughs> knowing that you um, make sustainable uh, fish. But um Back to the desk. I'm happy to see that good is being done to the ocean. We still have a lot of work to do, though. Thanks for watching Planet Ocean 101. Don't forget to tune in next week and get some, another ocean update. And remember, together we can save the seas.